Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true dad, welcome to Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, a game about, well, fishing, I assume, and don't worry if you missed my full series of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 1, all that you need to know, continuity-wise, is I went for the Paragon ending, so the Council of Fish is still alive. Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty new to this whole fishing thing, so yes, being only as I am a baby level 1 fisher, I'm not allowed to, like, you know, go straight to Thailand and wrestle sharks onto the beach or anything. No, 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 no. My only option is to go to Jackson County, where apparently we can catch, you know, salmon, trout, etc. And honestly, like, as I understand it, salmon are pretty big. So we're not starting off with, you know, baby fish here. No, as far as I'm concerned, we are jumping straight into the deep ends. Like, I don't know how large a largemouth bass is, but logically, you wouldn't have called it that unless its mouth was pretty bloody large. Alright, so this here, this is apparently Jackson County, big old mountains, lots of water, probably the latter, that's where we're going to find the fish. Just in case you didn't believe me, does say Jackson County on that building over there, so you now know I'm telling you the truth. Ah, that old building is apparently the old lumber mill. So there's Snake River behind me, and this is just like a little pond. Okay, you know what? For my first fish, we should probably stick to the pond. All right, so if you think about it, the fish in the big river, they're going to have had, you know, practice dealing with currents and other fish, waterfalls, other things that exist in rivers, not 100% sure. But the fish in ponds, they're going to be lazy complacent. Alright, they are going to be easy pickings for me. Okay, I seem to have two different kinds of rod with me. There's a rod with a wibbly wart infested thing, and okay, this one appears to just use a worm. That there, that seems way more traditional. I'm more comfortable with that. So if I've understood this right, I think what I could do is like, yeah, a little short thing where I just toss the, uh, the thing right there, but no, 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 let's just get that back in, in a hurry, if you'd be so kind, get that back in play, and like, a long cast, I don't know how long the long cast is, hopefully we don't like, you know, hit the old lumber mill, or something, so there we go, what's even the cocking point of fishing, if you're not going to, you know, properly get the rod behind you, and then toss it over arm, like, that's the entire point, so, okay, this here, this is the point where it being a video game is rather useful because I, in fact, have magic fish powers. So here we go. Unfortunately, it turns out there are no fish. Like, like literally no fish. Oh, hang on, there's one. Hey, buddy. Just just give him a little dance. Just yeah, bring him in. Bring him in. Hey, buddy. So yeah, apparently I've got like, yeah, I can reel in with one trigger and I can just make it go, oh. Give it a bit of a, yeah, just a bit of a, oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, yep, yeah, go, 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 just give him a tug, give him a tug, what is that? Well, it's a fish of some description. Okay, just, just bring her in, bring her in, go back over to the drama cam, she's, she's fighting me, but yeah, tug her, give her a little tug, that way she'll get tired, apparently, I don't know what this is, but like, it's a fish, I think we're almost there, oh yeah, oh yeah, like I was saying, complacent, lazy fish, and bring her in, it is... It looked bigger when it was in the water. That is a yellow perch. So it weighs... Okay, apparently that thing weighs 300 grams. Honestly, I'd have said lighter. Like, if you asked me to guess how much a fish that size was going to weigh, I'd have said like 150 grams at tops. So I'd have never guessed 300 grams. But, okay, that there, that is two experience points. Magnificent. And uh, it's worth $1.58. I can keep it. Or release it. No, you are my first fish. You, buddy, you're getting kept, damn it. What's that over there? Is that a big fish? Is that just... Well, there's bubbles. I mean, bubbles have got to be produced by something. Right, I mean, that's true. Okay, just get you to here. Do we have any fish nearby? There's... There's some fish near... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's... Oh, oh, you look big. You look big. But then again, the other one looked big too. So this, this might mean nothing. So, okay... Get him out of the water. I think we've got him. I'm going to be honest. I feel like... Wait, can I just... Can I just bring him with me now? Like I'm just walking a dog. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I feel like he's not... He's not getting away. What if I just don't? 
What if I just kind of take this guy and release him? Oh, I could release him into the river. Okay, I feel bad for the fish at this point. I'm going to officially bank it one way or the other. You better not be a yellow perch. Bloody useless. Oh, it's way bigger. Oh, that one is like, well, actually, it's, it's just as long. It's 30 centimeters again, but this one weighs like half a kilogram. Oh, this one's way better. We're keeping that one. How do I get rid of the old one? Because the old one was terrible. Okay, we need to try the other set. Apparently, I've got another rod with me. Maybe with that, I can catch something that's not the yellow perch. And slow lift and drop. Okay, I've picked up a, a thing meter here. Okay, this one I'm gently... Okay, hang on. I think I get this. I'm a... Oh, okay. I understand. I'm slowly bringing this in to make it turn. Okay, but where are the where are the fish? That's right. Okay, well I need to I need it to be nearby to the fish. Yeah, that's right. Hang on. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we gotcha. Now we gotcha, buddy. Oh, uh, we got your you're a yellow. Wait, no, you're not. You look like a. That was something bigger and better, but I think it was like a carp. And I say that on the basis that it had like whiskers. And I think carp have, like, whiskers. I'm not, like, 100% sure on that, to be honest. Oh, hang on. That fish actually stole my... Oh, I can't use set one anymore. That fish just straight up stole my stuff. Oh, never mind. That one's free. Okay, well, how many can I... Okay, apparently I can have infinite of these for free. So that's going to make life much easier for getting some revenge on that carp. All right. There we go. Now we start. Yeah, do a slow straight. Let it sink. Hang on, that might be him. Let it sink for a bit. Yeah. Bring her in. Green. Slow straight. It's doing a wibble. Hey, buddy, look at me. Look at me. I'm a delicious fish. Or, like, no, not fish. Like, actually, I'm not sure what I am supposed to be representing. Like, maybe a small fish. Yes, I am a delicious fish. Come get me, boys. And, oh... That might be the same guy again. And go, go. Yeah. Okay, now bring her in. Bring her in. Bring her in. I need to be careful. Yeah, watch that. Watch the meter in the bottom right. If that meter gets filled up, then we're in trouble. Get get over here. I think she's on the surface. That's got to be good news. I think you might be a bit small. Oh, you're really, really piddly. Oh, you're tiny. But you are pretty. I'll give you. That's a pumpkin seed. Oh, my goodness. That's such an adorable name for a fish. Okay, but apparently it's a two-star pumpkin seed. So, okay, I have not caught the worst pumpkin seed in the pond. Oh, apparently we've got, like, missions. So, uh, catch a certain number of fish, catch a fish that weighs at least one kilogram, and catch fish that add up to ten kilograms uh, in total. So, okay, check around here. All right, we're scanning for fish. Slow lift and drop. Now bring it in. Slow straight, yes. Oh, hang on, there's, there's a really big fish there. Hey, buddy. Would you like to come and have a nibble? Yeah. Yeah. Slow straight. That's right. I mean, there's, oh, there's multiple big fish around here. All right. Bring her in. Bring her in. Come on, guys. No, not... Oh, hang on. Yes, yes. You look big. You look really big. You look really... Oh, careful. 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 Let it have some... I think that one might be too big for me to get. Like, that was... Oh, hang on. There's another one that's way closer. All right. Just bring her in. Bring her in. Yeah. Yeah. You're really nearby. You're... No, not you. Not... Well, actually, maybe you. That was like a... What was that? Was that a trout? Okay. I figured out I've got buttons to change... Uh, yes. My drag by 10% increments and my speed, which I think might be the equivalent of like... Gears on a bike, but for a fishing rod. Intuitively, what I feel is going on here is speed means I can reel in faster, but as I'm doing said thing, it's going to put increased pressure. So if I want to bring in a bigger fish, then I should go for, like, lower speed. I am entirely guessing at this point, by the way. Oh, I think I get the trick here, by the way. So, okay, once I've got the line, you know, nice and taut. Then when a fish bites, I need to hold down right trigger to give it a jerk. Then we can start pulling her in. I need to actually get like 
I think, the hook into the fish by giving it a good tug. Come on. This would be a nice, easy one, right? Yeah, there we go. And now pull, 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 pull. What if it is that? What if it is that? Whatever it is, I've got it. Oh, yeah. We've got... That's me, apparently. Um. Oh, that was a rainbow trout. I caught a rainbow trout. So apparently, I'm really, really into this rainbow trout. Because for some reason, I decided I want to, um, yes, show myself, like, cuddling it. So I understand now. I know what's going on. So just let it go down a bit. Zoom right out. Keep your eye on somebody. And now bring it in. Nice and careful. Make it a lovely, attractive little dancing worm. As soon as someone comes in, we grab them with a quick jerk. And then we pull them in. What are you, buddy? What are you? You look pretty big, actually. You look relatively large. Okay, get it close. Get it right in. Right in, right in. Hey, hey buddy. Right here. Come get some delicious, delicious lunch. You look big to me. Come on. No, maybe not you. Oh, I think that's just another rainbow trout, unfortunately, which is... Oh, that's, that's stress. Watch the stress on the line. Watch the stress on the line. As long as we're not into too much red, we're okay. Watch the distance. Let it have a little bit of slack here. A little bit of slack. Okay. Other way. And give it another tug. Yeah, tire it out. Just give it the occasional tug. To tire it out. And tug. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're getting tired now. You're getting tired now. Oh, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm actually getting it here. You tug them while they're actually fighting. And as a result of that... Okay, why am I not cuddling that one? That one's way bigger. That's my biggest so far. That's pretty good. I'm up to, oh, 700 grams. I'm keeping it. We're so nearby. We're so nearby. Okay. I need to find. I'm going to move around. All right, I feel like possibly, yeah, at this point, the carp knows I'm onto him, and he's gone into hiding at the other side of the pond. Oh, there she is. There's the big girl. Oh. And another one just flipping zoomed past me there. But I feel like I'm going to be needing better, more exciting bait to truly draw the attention of. Oh, you're not bad. You're not bad. Okay. Bring her. Oh, you are. You're. Oh, you're. You're big and tough and. T oh, blimey. Okay. I think we might need to consider investing in better equipment. Okay. So, couple of problems. One, the fishing shop won't even sell me a better rod until I prove I'm a better fisherman, because that's how fishing shops work. And as for reels, unfortunately, to afford them, you need to take out a small mortgage. But yes, what I have found is uh, this line right here. This is what I'm using. There's a line here that's significantly stronger in terms of, well, I assume, like how much tension it can take. So we're going to be taking some of this. Bring it on, fish. I've got a surprise for you all of a sudden. Oh, I've got something bigger here. I've got something that looks pretty big. And I think I'm actually giving him... Oh, I think this is exactly what I need to do. I think this is precisely it. Oh, I could just... Oh, he's not going anywhere all of a sudden. Oh, this superior string. This is working beautiful. Give him a tug. Give him a good tug right now, yeah, that's right. You're coming with me, buddy. And you look to me like someone who might, just might, be flipping worth a kilogram in weight. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I didn't think it was, you know, a yellow perch. But still, the biggest yellow perch I've found so far. That is bigger than my previous fish. Okay, right there, I even just caught ten fish. Don't know what that really means. Do I, like, make progress towards levelling up or something? Okay, you know what? I'm feeling so good that I'm moving away from Baby's First Fishing Pond. We're moving over to Snake River. Alright, over to the edge of the little pier here. Just, you know, very, very small toss in. Just put that over there. Let's see what we got in Snake River. There's obviously a lot more... yeah seaweed here, so it's a bit harder to scout out the fish. Now, presumably, there's a big fish making them bubbles. Alright, can't see what's making those bubbles, but 
something is. They are... Oh. You look very small. Don't want you. No, 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 not you. Okay, well, maybe you're a different kind of more important type of fish. Okay, we'll just get you in. But I suspect you... Oh, hang on. You put up one a hell of a fight, buddy. All right, the fish in Snake River have come ready to tussle. Okay, gone around the coast a bit to get away from the fish that was bullying me. Because, yeah, here we got ourselves some lovely, lovely windmills. Very nice indeed. Just generally, oh yeah, this is a lovely, lovely place to fish. So, okay, right about here, surely before the big old bridge, just see what we got in this bit of the world, all right? Just, all right. Water seems to be pretty shallow around here. Presumably, the fish are going to be comparable. Oh no, it's one of them again. That's one of the bully fish. Okay, see if we can just... Get him a bit closer before he takes the bait. Because we need to, yeah, be able to reel him in pretty fast. Oh, I think he got bored. I think he got... Oh, maybe. There's definitely some... There's definitely some... Okay. Tag him. And now pull him in. Whatever this is, we, we've, we've got a shot. We've got a shot. Whatever that is. That looked not too small, to be honest. That was... It's a small mouth bass. 700 grams! That's not bad, you know. I think that's okay, though. I swear I was promised large mouth bass. So, oh. Okay, now I've got a small mouth bass. Logically, the large mouth bass will come to get revenge. You know, I only just noticed that, yes, underneath my little floater guide over in the top right, depending on how I make this thing jiggle, it says different things, which I assume attract different fish. So, uh, this motion is a slow... Oh, blimey. You're different to what you... What the... Okay, hang about. I just straight up... What, what the... What, what? What the... Okay, a fish just came out of nowhere that disappeared as fast. But apparently you guys were into slow and straight. So, okay. Meanwhile, slow lift and drop. Yeah, they can be slow straights. Or they can just be, if I do it, yeah, if I let it kind of drop a bit. Then there's just straights. So, yeah, if I just do this. I think he was interested in just straight, wasn't he? Yeah, it was you. It was completely you. The guy who just went round there. Dear, oh, flippin' dear. Okay, just, oh, blimey. Okay, that fish is freaking out. Hello, what do you want? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 Just get him. Whatever he was, he was right next to me. He just kind of grabbed it. Oh, flip me. Oh, that was... No! No, it wasn't... Wait, it wasn't, um... It wasn't a carp. He was a brown bull head. And he weighed a whole... Almost. Almost a kilogram. But still, that's interesting. I need to figure out which motion pattern each fish... Likes or doesn't. Well, you're being kept. You did pretty well. I was 90% of the way there to a fish that weighed an entire kilogram. So, yeah, the basic action is the slow straight. So then it's doing the odd wiggle and it's just slowly moving straight off. But I could also just let it drop a bit. Then it becomes a slow lift and drop. Some things might enjoy slow lift and drop. If I just bring it in, that just becomes. A straight. Oh, blimey. Okay, someone really wanted that. Someone really, really cocking wanted that. Okay, it's the straight. They want something faster, don't they? You're the brown beachhead Ghibli boys. And you, you just want, you don't want slow and straight. You just want fast and straight. You want straights right away, right now. And you guys are pretty heavy. You guys can be, okay, you were only 800 grams. But still, you can go regardless. Okay. We're learning. We're learning about fish here. So some of them, they just want the really, really fast. So, okay. I think this is the solution. These guys, some of them might weigh a kilogram. I can reel them in. And all I need to do is keep it so, so simple. I just need to keep this, yeah, straight. Just bring it in. Straight right here. No, not slow straight, straight. There we go. Right to the top. Give me the straight. Oh, you see, like, right there. Right flip in there. He wanted that. He desperately wants that. Oh, but he's he's bigger. He's putting up a fight. I think he might be the one. 
Okay, give him a give him a jiggle. Give him a jiggle. Then let him have a little bit of spare line. And we're gonna tire him out. We're gonna give him the jerk. And no. Jerk again. I think we're gonna have him. We're gonna have him. Jerk once more. He can't keep this up forever. He can't keep this up forever. He can't keep this up forever. And 98. 0.98. We're so close. Also, I don't like the fact there are just random spots in the river where there aren't fish. But they just sort of generate bubbles anyway. I don't like that. That's weird. Oh, flip me! I wasn't even trying for this guy. This guy just jumped on the line at the last second. But I caught my first salmon. And he's over a kilogram. I've done it! I'm a fisherman. I don't know why I wouldn't have been a fisherman before. But I feel like much more of a fisherman because, oh... I have caught a salmon and she weighs slightly more than a weight that weighs one kilogram would weigh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and he's worth a lot of money too. Okay, I was not even going for him, but I feel like all the good fish, the big expensive ones, they don't want slow and straight. They just want the fast straight. They just want you to reel them in, damn it. Oh, that just pushed me over everything right there. I have... No idea what those achievements really do in any way, but like, it made a nice blurp noise, so that's got my dopamine pumping. Oh, and just one more fish gets me up to level two. I'm a level two fisherman, and I get a skill point. Apparently there's RPG stuff going on. Okay, let's go back to base here to make sure we spend that. So, all right, open the fishing net. This here, this is all the fish... I decided to keep. We're going to be selling most of these guys because uh, why not? But for the really important special fish, like say the salmon or yeah, the bullhead that was almost, almost a kilogram, you can put them in the aquarium. And there we go. There's my two fish I decided to keep. The brown bullhead that was almost a kilogram and my first ever fish that was over. And uh, I've decided I'm going to make it rain worms. Congratulations, guys. Uh, beautiful. So, okay. Those guys are now just uh, flatmates. Feel like we could have put them in their own tank, but maybe they enjoy each other's company. Okay, so the skills appear to be divided in two. There is uh, economist to make more money and uh, dodger, which I'm assuming is like a term for a fisherman or something, because these ones seem to be more about Yes, fish. So, ooh, I'm going to, yes, draw the fish to me. Okay, hang about. We're going back in here because I never caught a largemouth bass. The smallmouth, absolutely, but no, we need to get the largemouth. But to do that, okay, it's time to start doing some fish research. To the Fishypedia. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I think the largemouth bass might be a bit beyond us at the moment, because, yes, apparently it weighs up to 11 kilograms, which would be one a hell of a step up over what we've been doing so far. Okay, but we also didn't catch a bluegill. Officially, bluegill do live in this water. So, up to two kilograms in weight, it's a step up, but not all of them are going to be two kilograms. That's the biggest ones. That I think we could bring in, and thanks to the Fishypedia, we now know what it looks like. So, uh, would you believe uh, the gills are blue? Yes. So, okay. The only issue is we don't really know uh, what's the right rod to catch it with. The implication is uh, feed on... Ooh. Worms. I bet it's the other rod. Okay, I am back. And now I know what we're looking for. The bluegill lives primarily in vegetation. Now... This spot up here, this bit of the river, there was so, so much dense vegetation here. If there's going to be anywhere that's got itself some beautiful, beautiful bluegills, uh, this is going to be it. So, okay. We've got you, and we've got a worm coming in. So, yeah, this thing doesn't sink or anything. It just sits there. But I still need to maybe make it dance a bit. Give it a bit of a tug. That was, that was a very aggressive tug. 
Not the slightest sniff of interest, but I have a theory. I think this water might be a bit too deep. They're not even aware of the worms there, but okay. Round the corner, hang about over, yeah, round two or three, about here. The water here was super shallow. So, okay, let's maybe go to position two, go over there, and from this spot, this area was so, so shallow, but there were still plenty of plants in it. This might be the better option, so just avoid the drift wood if you'd be so kind. Oh, you see now this. This looks better to me also. Oh, blimey, what was that? There was a massive guy that just went by there. I feel like this is much more like it. All right, and... Is it being carried in the current? I guess it must be. Okay, make sure we're, like, properly taught and whatnot. So, okay. Get it wibbling. I have not seen the slightest indication of a fish that appears to be into this nonsense. Not yet, anyway. Okay, no sign of the bluegill. I was just scouting out with the other lure, but I've got something pretty big and fighty on the line, actually. You seem... I don't know what you are precisely, but you've been putting up one a hell of a fight. Let him have a moment's peace. Give him the jerk. This, this guy seems big. This guy seems really, really big, actually, and he is not, not letting me have it at all. Okay, just keep on keeping on. Give him the joke. He's going to get tired. Eventually, he has to get tired. How close are we? We're, we're getting pretty close to him. We're getting pretty close to him right now. Pretty close to him. Grab him. What on earth are you, buddy? Because you, you were... I mean, it's 1.4 kilograms. That is... Okay, that's my biggest fish yet, though... It's still a small mouth bass. Still no sign of the big lads. But you know what? Anytime you get out your weighing stick, you know you've done all right. Okay, um, sheer coincidence. Wasn't even going for the large mouth bass. Assume that was beyond me, given apparently they're up to, um, yes, 11 kilograms. But I just landed one, which is good, because I was feeling somewhat discouraged by the fact... I have not even seen a bloody bluegill. Does it matter? Because I am level three. And that means I get to leave Jackson County behind and go to new more exciting waters. Oh, and that gets me all sorts of exciting sexy stuff. Like, say, for example, yeah, the good flipping line. That's right, folks. We're going to Zalassie. Just toss in at my favourite lure with newly reinforced line. So now he can capture everything into the brand new deep. And see what we happen to draw the attention of. Potentially sharks, whales, a, a giant squid, whatever a megal... Oh, blimey, what was that? Was that... That was a log. I thought it was the world's biggest fish. But it was just a log. Oh, we got something. We got something nearby. Come on, buddy. Okay, these European fish. They are a much, much... Oh, hang on. We got something. Oh, you also took the bait so nearby to me. Meaning, as a result of that... European perch. 1.69 straight away. Worth $7. We're just arriving and we are just bringing in... The big fish straight away. The reinforced line has been spectacularly powerful. Okay, I'm in a weird place with this game, which is, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I sat down to play a fishing game, I thought, hey, that'll be an amusing video. Alright, I can make all sorts of fishing jokes and know nothing about fishing, and it will be entertaining. And I'm coming away, summing of a convert. This has been so relaxing. Okay. If you're into fishing games, which are the best ones? Because I am now 100% up for digging out, like, the all-time classic well-loved fishing games, alright? 
I'm sold, uh, I'm one over, let's give it a go. If you're into fishing games, uh, let me know in the comments what are the good ones, because uh, I want to dive a bit deeper into this. This has just been a, a lovely, relaxing experience. This has been, uh, you know what, this is great. My favourite thing in the world uh, is finding something new that I enjoy. Ah, oh, today's been a lovely, lovely day. And maybe indeed we can have some more fishing games in future, depending on, yes, if I get some really interesting recommendations, uh, we shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, how does this, how does this thing work? That's... I put it on backwards. I don't know how to take it off now. You have bullets. What do you want? Aha! Okay, I figured it out. Round peg goes in round hole. I don't even smoke, but I kind of feel like now would be an appropriate point for a post-coital cigarette.